What's up, people? Mark Jack 79 here, and today is an exciting day. Man, today I have acquired a figure that I have been waiting to get a figure of since I was a wee child, man. Today I finally claim a plastic <laughs> form of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Thank you to Dragon Stars. Thank you to GameStop for having this figure available. Just a random trip to GameStop today, man. And they had literally just put these out on the shelf. I was talking to the guy, and yeah, man, we literally just put these out like this morning. I was like, yes, <laughs> yes. I've been waiting so long to get a Super Saiyan 4 Goku into my collection. He was like one figure that I never had when I was a child, and I'm so excited to have him. All right, man, let's do this. Dragon Ball Super. That's weird. Hmm. What you do? What are you trying? What are you trying to say? I wonder if they're just not allowed to to use the Dragon Ball GT logo, or they're just you know, or they're just oblivious to the fact that Super Saiyan Four has never appeared in Dragon Ball Super. But anyways, moving on. So we got the figure here. It looks cool. Got some kind of bleeding effects on the fur there. No, that's okay. Uh, I got him retail from GameStop for twenty two ninety nine. Got the tail here. Looks like he's got an instant transmission hand, Kamehameha hands, and some fisted hands. Uh, Dragon Star Super Saiyan Four Goku. Got a cool pick of him there. Spin it around here. Super Saiyan Four. Spin it to the back. So we so at the GameStop that I was at, they had the Piccolo. Um, I skipped on him. And they also had the first form Frieza. Now, I did get him. Uh, so, look forward to a review and comparison on first form Frieza as well. So, we can see how he compares to the um, the Frieza's of the SH Figure Arts. Um, if you want me to get that video out quick, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, let me know that you're dying to see it. And I'll, and I'll make it quick for you guys. And then, of course, the Super SS4 Goku. I also got the Cell Final Form, the SS3 Goku, and the Android 17. So it looks like this was the first wave that came out, and then this is the second wave that has not came out yet. So, all right, man, let's go ahead and crack them open, and let's it's take a look. Looking really cool, man. Not bad for a $20 figure. Um, kind of has a little bit of problem standing up on his own. I had to rearrange the feet a lot. That's okay. I need to fix the gappage on that shoulder right there, too. Uh, face came out okay. Uh, got a little bit of dust and dirt there on his hair. Uh, that's a little bit better. Uh, kind of eyes. I wish his eyes kind of able. It was face kind of able to look up a little bit more. It's a little bit distracting. Uh, again, got the kind of the paint bleeding into the torso there from the fur. Uh, not perfect, but again for a twenty dollar figure, you know, and it's not crazily bad but it could definitely could it definitely could have been better plus i keep saying a 20 dollar figure he was definitely like 23 actually um belt there the colors with, with the pants to the wristbands and so it's okay it's a, it's a little bit dull um if that makes sense see what i'm saying it's kind of that just doesn't really pop uh, especially the pants here it's like a weird green uh, i'm trying to see if that's like exactly accurate yeah, I mean, I guess it is. It's pretty, it's pretty darn close. So, you know, but I definitely wish his face could have looked up a little bit further, and probably could have made the torso a little bit darker too. So, you know, got that to keep in to keep in mind. But just for myself to, this, for this to be my first, you know, uh, Super Saiyan Four Goku in my collection. Period. You no, know, I, I can't complain too much. I'm just happy to finally have the character in my collection. But you know, if, if any fellow DBZ. Uh, collectors are listening. Uh, hashtag Fairy Tale Customs. Hashtag SH Figure Arts. You're trying to mass produce a really good uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> nah, so let's spin it around to the to the back here. So the tail just pegs in really easily to the back. It's a little bit of garbage there, so keep that in mind. Um, knee joints here. Back of the hair looks okay. Um, it's pretty accurate to how the hair looked in the anime. To the arm here, the pretty good definition in his back. You can see the muscles through the fur. See the back of the biceps. The elbow joints are a little bit ugly. Kind of sucks with all these pegs here for the arms, but you know, gotta have something to make sure that that all the all the stuff stays screwed in. But they didn't really do a very good job of of hiding it though. So I mean, that's unfortunate. 
just this this is face though man i just really wish this face could have been done just a little bit better maybe maybe if they would have put some more yellow in there you know to, to try to match how he actually looked in the anime you know what i'm saying uh yeah yeah definitely but i mean like i said a 23 dollar figure what do you what do you expect all right man let's go ahead and set up the stand let's take a look at his articulation okay so head can move downwards that much move upwards that much as you can see you get i mean you get a little bit but you really gotta push that neck upwards to get him to look straight ahead so i mean that's not that's not bad right there you know but definitely gotta force that neck up to really get the full you know so you can see his actually his full his full face then it's pretty cool his hair has a different articulation at the bottom portion here this i don't know what it's for but you know i mean it's there this little like little hair neck piece here can move up and down kind of on its on its own a bit and if you can if you can see that yeah like i said then but that kind of hinders the head to be able to turn 360, 360 degrees though so but you know how i always mention in my reviews why would you need the head to turn 360 degrees unless you were trying to break his neck so okay so with these arms here i think we just need to move those up a bit you kind of got to have to move them up to kind of to cover up that gap is right there so that makes that look a bit better um, but he does have 360 degrees in the arms can move all the way up as so uh, he does have push that back up he has 90 degree uh, actually he has a little bit more than 90 degrees so it's crazy that the arm articulator for this goku is better than the uh, mr satan that i reviewed yesterday so yeah you can so so you can get that going push that back down and he does have a 360 rotation in the bicep as well as you can see and then wrist articulation just rotate that 360 degrees uh, it can kind of be built and tilted a, a bit but then you kind of get that ugly peg in there so you definitely don't want to do that because it's gonna make it it's gonna it's gonna make them look weird and so we get that back turn that back twist that back in get that looking decent again and then same thing with this arm 360 push it up or push it down push it up and push it all the way out push that arm up put the wrist twist that and twist that 360 bing boom and then we fix it back and bing so then with the torso Torso can rotate 360 degrees. So can be pushed upwards that much, pushed downwards that much. Not much, but as you can see, it, it gets the it gets the job done. And it will help by pushing that torso out too. Will help kind of see the face a little bit better as well when you're posing them. So you can keep them in mind. Then you can kind of see a little bit more of the six pack as well. So trying to see the yeah, you can kind of see like how. How the six pack kind of sits in the uh, in the shirt and the anime too, so you definitely want to push that up a little bit to get more uh, out of your figure. And then we move on to the to the legs. Can be kicked out that much, be pushed backwards that much. Here, as you can see, knee joints be pushed backwards that much. That's all you. That's all you get. Uh, Legs can be rotated 360 degrees, push down, pushed up, and knees cannot rotate. Uh, ankles cannot rotate either, but feet, but feet can 360 degrees. Oh, you just pop right out. So pop that out. Yep. Uh, so you don't really get any, barely any articulation in the feet. You can't push it up or down. I mean, you barely can. But if you try to push that foot down, as you see, it's just gonna pop that peg right out. So probably why he was having a hard time standing. Uh, there should be same thing with this leg. Kick it out backwards. Move that tail out of the way. Knee joint and foot you're not gonna get anything with that foot that's just gonna push that right out as well then we straighten that back out straighten that back out stand him up and he should be ready to go i'm probably not going to put him in a super fancy pose on the shelf probably about as much as i'm going to get about right there man yep 
It's probably about as good as it's going to get right there, which, you know, it's okay. that's all right. I mean, obviously, this is not your SS figures. This is Dragon Stars, so you cannot really be expecting the world. And like I said, I am just happy to have him a part of my collection, finally, you know. I've always been a DBZ Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT fan. Dragon Ball GT is probably my least favorite out of the four animes, but I've always loved the Super Saiyan 4 design. And while we're on the subject, why don't we bring up our Super Saiyan Blue Goku so we can do our comparison. And now we have our comparison with our Super Saiyan 4 Goku versus our Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Who wins, man? Who wins this fight? I mean, if I had to take an educated guess, I would still say... Even with the amazing power of Super Saiyan 4, I think the Super Saiyan Blue honestly takes the fight because just with the feats that Goku has been able to accomplish with Super Saiyan Blue, I just think it barely, you know, you know, outmatches what was done in Super Saiyan 4. But I think it would be an awesome fight, and I mean, we we've seen kind of glimpses of it in Dragon Ball Heroes, but but I hate classifying that. It's like an accurate, an accurate representation of like the characters and and how to like do their strength tiers or whatever. But you know, if I had to take a educated guess, I would say that you know the Super Saiyan Blue is a bit stronger than Super Saiyan Four. Um, now, if now when it comes to the designs, honestly, man, I think the Super Saiyan Four design really represents the Saiyan biology a little bit better than the Super Saiyan Blue. I mean, I mean, it makes sense, but if you go back to, you know, the sand biology, how they can turn into the great ape, and, you know, if you go back to their ancient times, and where they came from, I just think, I mean, the Super Saiyan 4 transformation just makes more sense than Super Saiyan Blue. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love both transfer transformations, but it was definitely clearly way more creative input put into the Super Saiyan 4 design than the Super Saiyan Blue, so... You know, but I mean, that's just my humble opinion, and that's not to say that I don't like the Super Saiyan Blue transformation, because obviously I am a huge fan fan of it. I'm a huge fan of both of them, man. But I just hate it when people like try to dog out the Super Saiyan Four transformation like it never existed, or just because Dragon Ball GT wasn't as popular as you know Super or Z that they try to say that the transformation was terrible. No, stop it, man. Stop it. You know, back in like when I can't remember exactly when trying about GT premiered in America but when I first saw it man I was hyped I was just as hyped to see the the Super Saiyan 4 transformation as I was to see Super Saiyan Blue Super Saiyan 3 2 or the original trans trans transformation so I think just us as a Dragon Ball community just needs to you know take the positive and try to ignore the net the negative and just appreciate you know all the content of the anime that we've gotten for the last 25 years man because I mean it could have been none I mean the series could have stopped at Z and neither one of these forms would even exist so I think we should just take the good with the bad and appreciate that we can even have this conversation that we're having today so yeah and with that I think we will end our discussion man so like I said, if you come across this, uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku at GameStop or in stores or whatever, and you're a DBZ or GT fan or Super, I would definitely say go on, go on ahead and pick it up. Is it the best figure in the world? No. But if you're like me, and you've been watching this anime for years and or even decades, most likely you probably really don't have a good Super Saiyan 4 figure in your, in your collection. Now, I mean, if I had to take an educated guess, this is probably the best Super Saiyan 4 figure that has come out that has been masked pro produced so honestly this is the only option for it anyways so yeah and with that man uh yeah we will go on ahead and end our discussion so as always i appreciate everybody for watching um at the making of this video we are at 801 subscribers so we are 199 subscribers shy from our goal of 1000 please do me a favor and support the channel and hit that subscribe button especially if you are a Dragon Ball fan there's a ton of Dragon Ball content on the channel it's almost li it's, li it's literally half of my channel so you can follow me at youtube.com slash 79 also on Instagram Facebook and Twitter 
And as always, thanks everybody for watching. And until then, I will see you guys on the next one. I will catch you guys later. Bye.